Hello everyone, today we are going to implement a small application where we have this advent door here and if we press on it, it will open up and show an image behind and yeah, that's what we're going to develop today. We start with an empty application and the first thing what we are going to do is to build a small method where we build the outer door. So let's paste it here and put the context inside and also the number and we go with 9 for today and that's how it looks like so we have this container where we set the background color to red and we also set the text theme here now it doesn't look that great because it's so small so we want to adjust it here we go to our theme data then put inside text theme text theme so we take the headline from here and write here text style font size and then 46 64 I mean <laughs> and then we have this bigger text here another thing we want to do is to constrain this here to a size we go here with container and in front we have a width of 200 and also a height of 200 and that's how it looks like. So the next thing what we want to have is this widget here centered. So we just wrap it with a center widget and hot reload it. Another thing we want to do is to build the inner door. So we will replace our outer door with an inner door and here we go, we have just this container like it's shown here on the right side. The next thing what we do is we combine these two methods, the inner door and the outer door to one widget, the calendar door widget. So we combine it, we have here the image which we pass into it. So it's like the background image, then we have the outer door and the inner door. And this thing can be deleted. And this widget will be created here in widget calendar door widget and we also go to the main file and import it here now we have to create these fields so we go back and create them there we go we have our constructor now we want to convert the stateless widget to a stateful widget because we want to maintain a state later and in our build method we replace the container with the stack and put our widget which we have here got from the main file in this case it is an image so the next thing what we want to do is to build the different kind of doors the outer door or the inner door so we will convert this here to a block body and pass here our door inside so this kind of statement means if our animation process is over 50 percent processed then we want to show the inner door otherwise we show the outer door in the beginning and this kind of thing only shows how much the door is opened so i will change it later so we see it so the next thing what we want to do is to create the init state method and here we build our animation controller where we say that our animation should take 700 milliseconds another thing we want to do is to create an animation here where we specify a curve how the animation goes and I go here with my special curve, which I created on my own. I've talked about this curve in the second video of mine. And if you want to know more about it, go there. So we also need to have a ticket provider state mix in here so that our animation controller is synchronized and that our animation can be processed. And we have to hot restart the application to fix this error here. And there we go. We have our door in front of it, so right now it is the outer door shown here. We also want to show our inner door here if we press on this door and therefore we want to animate it. So we wrap our stack here with an animated builder and pass here for the animation the controller. Then we have here a builder where we build our animation and we pass this stack here inside 
and delete this and make here an expression body. Here, yeah, obviously, build context. Now we want to actually transform this. So we want to rotate this door to the right side. Therefore, we wrap our door here with a transform object where we specify where the transformation should be done. And we specified here that it should be done in the center right. So the rotation will be around this angel here and not around something like this or this because then it would be different. And then we just say that it should rotate by minus P multiplied with open door until which is how much the rotation should last. So we want to have a rotation until here at least. Another thing we want to do is to actually start the animation. So we write in our init state method here, controller forward and make a hot restart. And you see the doors right now open, which is pretty fast. You didn't see it, do it again. Yeah, so that's how it opens. We can also um, go here and make it slower by adding, for example, it to seven seconds and then it will be slower. Let's do it again. And here you see how the door is opening. I will change it back. And now what we want to do next is to wrap this animated builder in a gesture detector. And here we have an on tap function, which we call here on tap. And we make this method here. And now we want to do multiple things. First of all, we want to have here a Boolean, which we call opened and specify it here with this dot open. And as default value, we have false. And in the init state method, we set this value, which we got from the outer widgets to our inner states so that we can control here if the door is opened or not. Here we just specified if the door is initialized open, then we want to finish the animation, which means that the animation is done like it is right now. So if you specify it here with true, the door will immediately be open. So that want we to remove also. And we also want to override the dispose method. So we call the controller dispose. So if our widget is not shown in the UI, um, this method will be called and everything will freak up. Now we want to care about the tab. If the door is already open, we don't want to do anything. So just return it. But if the case is where the door is not open, so it's closed, we want to change the variable here to opened and also want to say our controller to start with the animation. So let's just hot restart it. And now if we tap on this door, it should go open. Another thing we have to do is to copy this animation control here where we exchange the doors inside our animated builder. So into the builder function. And here we just copy it into because right now the problem is that the door is not exchanged. And here we have also the age, which is not the right thing. So we re hot restart it. And if we now open the door, we also see the inner door and it is correct. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!